Hi everyone! So today I am just going to do a cup versus cup comparison between the Sabelle cup and the Lunette cup. And this is just a one-on-one -on -one to talk about both of them, co compare them to each other, their differences, and, and um, if they have similarities. And both of them are silicone and I can't tell you exactly what kind of silicone. I did read that the Lunette is made out of medical grade silicone and I don't have a website for the Savelle company because they don't sell directly to people anymore. If they ever did, I, I'm not sure. Uh, but now you can only purchase it through their vendors. Uh, so people that buy it, say in bulk, and then sell it to the rest of us. So um, I, I don't know what kind of um, information they have on their making of their actual cup for the Sabelle. So the Sabelle cup is from France and the Lunette cup is from Finland. Again, these are both uh, size 2 or large of the sizes that they offer. The Sabelle only comes in two colors. A translucent color and this pink color which I read was only um, going to be available for a limited time but I've seen that for quite a while now so I don't know if they're gonna keep it around or if they're gonna take that color away in the near future the lunette has several different colors I think they have five different colors and mine is a coral here so the Sabelle uh, I only checked on Feminine Wear, uh, uh, the Feminine Wear website, um, and any of the any of the uh, websites that I talk about, I will leave in the description below. So uh, Feminine Wear will be down there if you don't already frequently visit them, like I do. Um, but their Sabelle cups are two different prices; they're different for the different sizes. So uh, the large size would be approximately $30.50. And the Lunette is originally $39.99 and you can find them on sale quite often or um, they put up discount codes quite often on their Facebook page so you can check that out. Um, again, their link will be in the description below. So starting with the stem, this is the Sabelle cup, and it has a really unique stem. I don't have any other cups with this style of stem, but it has these three grip rings on it and a ball at the very top. And uh, it is very soft, and I can squeeze on this ball and it smashes pretty easily. And I've heard people say that they like this stem because it is so soft and it doesn't give them a whole bunch of discomfort uh, because it's soft and it flexes in every way. So um, personally, the length of this, the ball sits right at the opening of my vagina and I can feel it but it's not uncomfortable. So I could understand what people are talking about. Uh, the length of it is fine for me, but I would probably go ahead and cut the stem off or most most of it off if I were to use this on a regular basis. The only problem that I did have with this stem is that it stretches a lot. And I'm just going to use my lip balm here. When I have the cup inserted and I go to remove it or bring my cup down, and I use the stem, it stretches and exits my body and my cup will stay in its original position. So you might have some, pro some problems with that as well. Like I said, I would probably cut that stem off and just grab the base of the cup anyhow. So it's not a big deal for me, but if you do need that stem, uh, you might have some troubles with that. So the Lunette cup, uh, I had already cut the stem off, so I do have a knockoff 
cup that was modeled after the lunette and it does have the tab uh, stem intact so I'll just go ahead and show that to you. The silicones are different so I can't use this stem to actually show you what, how or what is different um, between the Sabelle and the lunette because it is it does not feel like the the lunette that it feels different uh, softer if you will so the lunette has this um, tab like that uh, and it is fairly stiff it can go back and forth this way but when you're pressing it side to side it is a little more stiff that way and when I try to squeeze down on it it doesn't squish down and it was pretty uncomfortable for me so I went ahead and cut most of it off I I think I'm gonna end up cutting all of this off um, just because I don't need that that tab that little nub that I left and I can still uh, feel it when I sit down so that's a little uncomfortable for me and uh, I don't want to have to deal with that so those are the stems. So for those of you that like to cut the stem off uh, the lunette has a, a decent seal inside and I can't really show you with I usually put my pen in there a black tip pen and you could see but it's it's uh, not clear this cup is not clear so you won't even be able to see it but it's just above this um, top grip ring here so you do have some meat left to be able to cut this whole stem off and file it down some with the Sabella you have to be really careful because there is no uh, extra meat between the cup and the stem so if you're cutting it I would leave just a little bit left so that you make sure that you don't cut right into the cup itself then it would be useless so right below the stem uh, on the Sabelle there are no extra grip rings at the base of the cup here they have these channels and honestly, I haven't found any information on what these channels are, if it's just a design or a unique design signature to their cup, or if it acts as grips. I know that um, Brie said that it helped her grip onto the cup. Uh, Brie from Precious Stars, sorry, uh, said that they helped her grip onto the cup, but um, I, I don't know. I, I I don't think for myself that it helped give me any real grip. So the lunette has three grip rings up here and they're they're raised quite nicely and they do give a quite a bit of sound. And they give a really good grip. The the grip ring transition is not smooth. So they're raised and they're not hard edges, but uh, they're not really smooth like some other cups. So that might cause a problem for people that are sensitive to these kinds of things, bumps and whatnot. The silicones are pretty similar. Um, they're not that really smooth, slippery style of silicone like um, the Diva Cup is for me or the Juju Cup, or Juju Cup, however you pronounce it. Um, but it's kind of like that uh, peach skin, how they, they explain or describe some of the cups having a peach skin-like texture. It does feel a little textured, which kind of gives a, a nice grippiness to it, but not grippy like the TPE. So if you haven't noticed already, the Sabelle is more of a bell-shaped cup and the Lunette cup is more of that V style. And so the Sabelle has this flare at the rim here, like the bottom of a bell. And the Lunette does not have that. 
and I'll go ahead and turn it over so that you can see it a little bit better. And while I have it in this position, you can also see that the lunette cup has this secondary rim. And I don't know if there's an official name for this area of the cup, uh, but I call it a secondary rim because that is where it starts to get more firm on the cups that have secondary rims. So from this line here, it starts to get firm and then, or more firm than the rest of the cup and then the top rim is the firmest part. And the Sabel doesn't ha have that secondary rim. And I find personally that having that secondary rim usually helps a lot in aiding the popping open. So it helps getting your cup to open easier, having that um, firmness starting down lower on that rim. And the Sabelle doesn't have that. So it is soft, same throughout the whole cup until that top rim. I don't feel any kind of a difference in firmness or softness in the case of the Sabelle cup until I hit the actual top rim itself. So both of these cups have four section release holes. And, oh, just hit my camera, sorry. Uh, the lunette cup has four holes that are evenly spaced. And uh, I'm not sure if these are punched, drilled, or molded. Oh, come on camera. Uh, but they are just straight in. There's no slanting to these holes. And the Sabelle cup has their four holes that are not really evenly spaced. There's two on one side and two on the other, but of course this is a circle, so you, you understand what I'm saying, though. <laughs> if I press the rim together, the holes do match up. And these are molded diagonal, but diagonal sideways into the cup instead of um, the up and down that I normally see in most cups and I don't know if you can see the um, travel line on that or travel direction uh, not really so sorry but they are diagonal going sideways both cups claim to hold the same amount to its full capacity I didn't um, check to see what the the measurement or how much they hold to their suction release holes. I only uh, did research on how much they hold to the full capacity, which is 30 milliliters. So both of them hold an ounce of fluid to the very top of the rim. Uh, their diameters, uh, let's see, the, the Sabelle is 53 milliliters without its stem and I did do it myself um, I noticed that some of the charts that I found online said a certain millimeter and then I went ahead and measured it myself and it was just a millimeter off or so but um, you know very very close in measurement uh, so, what I found on my specific cup was that the Sabelle was 33 millimeters without the stem. And that the um, Lunette was 34 millimeters without the stem. And the diameter of the, the rims, the Sabelle is 46 millimeters in diameter and the lunette is 45 millimeters and if I place them up to each other and I hope that this is straight on but the lunette in person looks a tad smaller and you hopefully can see that I can um, see that there and again when I measured it it was just a millimeter off so if I place them against each other, rim to rim, 
you can see that as well just a tad smaller and you can also see while I have them up like this that they both have seams that go down the cup and it goes up around the stem and to the other side so you can see both of them have that seam there they also both have seams right on the rim itself the top of the rims and I'll just uh, put one cup down and you can see that there it is with the Sabelle and here it is with the Lunette So if you're anything like me, I can never visualize any kind of a measurement that somebody gives me. So I figured that I would bring in a couple items or a few items that I could compare the cups to. And I don't want to just place it in my hand because you don't know how big my hand is. So here is uh, my Carmex, my lip balm. And it is a regular standard size that you would find like chapstick or Blistex. And here is the cup against it. This is the Sabelle and the Lunette. And I guess I should have put it this way as well, but uh, you can see that it's it's very short. And here is just a regular scotch tape. And also the lunette. Oh, hit my camera. And here is a regular Sharpie pen. And the cups measure just, uh, very close to just the cap alone. So that gives you, gives you a little bit idea of how small or how large a cup is um, in comparison to an everyday item. So the last thing I want to do for you is to do a squish test, squish test, and that is just to measure the softness or the firmness of the back of the cups and also the rims of the cups together. And I do have a separate video for each of those of most of my cups from the softest cup to the firmest cup and the softest rim to the firmest rim if you're interested in watching those. So I'm going to use the palms of my hands because I think it gives a more equal or even amount of pressure between the cups or on the cups um, instead of using my fingers and thumbs. So again, I'm just going to do the bottom of the cups here first for you. And you can already see that the Sabelle is caving in there and the walls on uh, the sides of the cup are touching in the middle. And the lunette has pretty much held its shape and it hasn't even caved in hardly any. So the Sabelle is a very, very soft cup compared to the Lunette. And here are the rims. And again, the Sabelle rim is touching. Let me move my finger so that you can see. My skin is so dry. <laughs> All these things that you see under the camera. I'm sorry. So the Sabelle is very soft in the rim. And the Lunette is holding its shape up. So on my scale when I had done the softest to the firmest cup I think the Sabelle was the third softest cup that I have or had 
um, I added more cups, so I, I don't know what the scale is now, but at that time, the Sabelle, I think, was the third on that list, and the Lunette only had one cup that was more firm than it. So it is extreme from the softest to the firmest um, on that scale of softest, firmest cups. So there you have it, the similarities or differences between the Sabelle cup and the Lunette cup. Again, these are both the larger of the two sizes that they offer. If I had missed anything or if you have additional questions, please leave me a comment below or you can find me on Facebook. I'm Red Herring there as well. And if you're interested in watching more cup reviews, cup information, or cup comparisons, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until next week, thanks for watching.